So hello and welcome to this quick tutorial where I will show you how to create this glowing emissive material inside of Blender with Octane. There are not many tutorials out there talking about that um, for Blender with Octane, so I think that um, this might be a pretty important tutorial for some people. So um, just so you know what is going on, here on the left hand side I have the rendered view up here where you can see how we progress with our material. Um, below that is the world shading um, and in here is just a, an, a simple HDRI so that our object is lit a little bit. And here on the right side we have our material setup. It's just the shader editor for the object. And in here is the whole material. Not really complicated, pretty simple, so you should be able to follow along. And uh, yeah, let's get started by deleting the whole material. And if I go up here and I update the viewport, you can see that our object is just plainly lit right now. And that's exactly where we want to start. Okay, so to start up with our material, um, we will have to select our object that we want to shade, that we want to apply our emissive material to. And in my case, it's this object right here. So I click on it and it's selected. And now we have to go into the shader editor. And in here, make sure that object is selected because we want to apply the material onto this object. Okay, if there is no material out, output node in here, then just click on new up here. And then um, there should be a universal material connected into this material output node. Just delete the universal material and then you will be able to follow along. So we have this material output node and now we have to press Shift A again and we search for a diffuse material. Here it is. We take the material out of this diffuse material and we plug it into the surface connector of the material output node just like that. And now we have applied this diffuse material onto our object. Very well, so we can continue. Down here we have an emission connector on the diffuse material. So that's really important. We have to use a diffuse material. On other material nodes there might not be this emission connector that we need. So keep that in mind. So now we have to add another node. So we press Shift A again and we search for a black body emission node. Down here we have it. Just click on it and now we have this black body emission node. So we take the emission out and we plug it into the emission of the diffuse material. And now you can see on the left hand side our material looks quite different. There is some kind of glow to it but not as we want it. And uh, yeah, first of all, the color looks wrong. How can we change the color of this glow? That's pretty easy. We just have to add another node. So we press Shift A again and we search for an RGB color node. Here we have it. And we take the texture out and plug it into the texture connector of the black body emission. And in here we can select whatever color we want. I take a red in this case. In our viewport where we have the rendered view active, you can see that there is a slight red tint on the edges, but only slightly and our object is not glowing at all. So why is that? That's actually a pretty uh, simple answer because we have to change some settings in our camera. If you take a look at this rendered view, there is this little white square here. That's because I'm inside of the camera in my scene right now. If I press numpad 0, I'm outside of the camera and if I look here, there's the camera. If I press numpad 0, we are inside the camera and we have to change some settings for this camera. So if I go up here into the right corner, then you can see that there is our object that we have shaded. And if I go onto the camera and select the camera, then we have some options down here. And there also is this green little camera down here where you can click on and here we have the properties for our camera in the scene. 
And we have to change some values in here in order to see the effect on our object. So we go down all the way inside of the screen camera tab. And down here we have Octane Post Processing. And you have to check this little window over here for this to work. And in here we have the Bloom Power option. It's a slider so we can increase or decrease the value. And if I increase that to around 11, then you can see that the glow is appearing and it's depending or the glow is in the color of our RGB color node that we have down here. If I change that to purple, blue or green, then you can see that the color of our glow changes as well. Um, so that should be it for this video. I hope you could follow along. Um, it's quite an easy little uh, material, so I hope that helped you and um, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. There are a few other videos out there um, on my channel about Blender with Octane, so if you have any problems, just leave a comment or look around on my channel. There might be a video helping you out. See you next time and have fun with Blender and Octane.